Hello guys, I'm in, I'm going to inform you guys about this thing that just happened to my um, graphics card just today. You know, I just up I was just updating my graphics card from the GeForce application, and you know, I'll just let it update as usual on my 1070. And um, after it was updating, I just click Express or something, and then I don't know, it just went black screen. And I just froze. I couldn't do anything. I, t I tried to uh, like turn the power off on my monitor and turn it back on, and it'll still go black screen. So I restarted it. It just run the BIOS, and you see that like you know on the Windows 10, you see the logo, and then you see that little circle going whichever way. And then it'll just my monitor won't detect the graphics card, which is a common problem with the every time you try to update your um your graphics card through uh, Nvidia. <coughs> so. In order to fix that, you just instead of trying to um, download it um, automatically, because every time you do that, they'll give you they put they'll mess with your settings sometimes, and then um, the Nvidia every time you um, update it, they'll mess with your settings, and they'll also give you extra things that you don't need in there, which is the cause of it. So every time you download it down, you download it manually, which I'll show you. I'll send you the link of the video, and. I put I put it in the link and I forgot the YouTuber's name but I'll credit it right there because this is where it happened and um you know I try to I try to run the graphics card like I take it out and then turn it on but I mean it was kind of stupid because I, I I finally figured out if you, after you have it already set like running and you pop it back in it just turn off automatically so the only way I could run it is if I take the graphics card out. And take out the display port and then just run it on the Intel integrated graphics and it'll pop up. So, all you have to do is through there. So, in order to fix it, is you take out your graphics card and try to find like a DVI HDMI on your motherboard, like on the side thing. Try to connect it to there's a run it on integrated. And on integrated, you got to download this um, software, which will what it does is it'll clean and, de and delete all registry files from nvidia so that's just what happened right th um i don't know if it just happened but i have the nvidia application right here which will update it so i always knew where to get or sometimes you just go from right here and i clicked on it and then it says can detect the files or, or it just couldn't find it so i just clicked ok and it just deleted itself so it deletes everything that has to do related with nvidia so it cleans out everything because on this build well, I actually had it on two computers because I had an HD at an HDD that's been on this build, but it's been on a previous build, and on that previous build I had a 1050 Ti, which that's when it updated everything on it, and um, and after that PC failed on me, I just moved that um, HDD to this one, and those two files on the this is the 1070. But you know, like I've already had this 1070 for like almost about, well, probably have it for like a couple, four or five months already, and I just did the install as of um, as of um, June the 14th, 2018, and um, it just fell on me just like an hour ago, and I just follow that. I mean, I try to fix it like all like the other person tried to fix it like with the integrated graphics. You just go to device manager. And in device manager, you just go to like the integrator and just disable it. So instead of it trying to run it on integrator, it'll run on your graphics, but that didn't work for me. So I'll send you the link how to fix that. And sorry about the camera angles and whatever, the focus. I'm just um, just informing you guys and I'll send the link so it shows you how to do it. So, but also in the process, I don't I think he left this out. It just after you clean everything. My graphics card was already out at the time, so you don't need to have your graphics card popped in to do it. So, like, that's what I thought because, like, how can it detect your graphics card? It'll detect it through the files that it had, like, the last time you used it. So, it'll detect it through there. So, I mean, so you can run on the integrated graphics because you can't run the integrated graphics with your graphics card plugged in, even if you have the display port out. Like, you can have it connected and power it on and have the display port out of it. And it'll still won't, it will still won't, you still won't see the startup screen or whatever. So take it out and then just clean it up and make sure it's an integrated, unintegrated, and um, and uh, you know, clean it out and everything. And then 
after you clean it out I think it will um, reboot itself and then just shut it right back down and just pop it back in but I also turn like you know the paradox or everything is turned off completely with the switch on the back of the PCU so I plugged it back in and everything turn it back on you go to the BIOS and just like press F1 to just run it up anyways and then um and I'll just take you back here and then all you gotta do is just reinstall everything which the video will demonstrate so yeah thank you guys for watching and um uh, hopefully I don't run into this issue anymore if I do I'll update you guys